In today's Ask Anthony, a viewer emailed me about an unusual problem. She says she leased a brand new Tesla, but she only drove it for four days. Let me show you why. We were excited about this new one because now it's supposed to detect the traffic lights and everything. Samantha Haynes and her husband were excited to lease a brand new Tesla X. They're familiar with the popular electric cars. And I currently have a Tesla and I like the current car that we have. Oh. That was the whole reason why we went ahead and got this car because our lease was ending. On August 13th, her husband picked up the new Tesla. The next day, Samantha drove it. That's when she noticed a strange noise. So we called Tesla right away and told them that we heard this noise. They said starting in 2019 that the car would make a noise because they if you're driving less than 20 miles per hour they wanted it to have a noise to avoid hitting other pedestrians or whatnot samantha was concerned and stopped driving the car but her husband convinced her to try it out again since it was brand new but the noise continued it was making me nervous because it was getting louder and louder so loud that samantha called tesla while she was driving down j turner butler boulevard four days later I'm on the phone with Tesla and the wheel comes off of the car while I'm on the freeway. So what was your thought when you were driving down the road and this wheel just falls off your car? I was, I was terrified, especially because I had my daughter in the back seat, who's a toddler. Samantha says a manager with Tesla came and got the car and took it to a local service center. A nice pedestrian actually brought the wheel to me and told me that only one lug nut was screwed in. She says the car was in the shop for two months for repairs and she doesn't want it back. If something could be missed as simple as a tire being screwed on, I didn't know what else could be missed in the car. Samantha wants Tesla to end her lease and give her her money back, but she says they're not listening to her. I reached out to them multiple times, telling them that I did not want this car, that I was fearful to drive the car, um, and they basically ignored me multiple times. So Samantha asked me for help. Thank you for calling Tesla. Please listen closely as our options have changed. I called the Tesla dealership in Jacksonville. But after waiting for more than 10 minutes, no one ever picked up. I also reached out to Tesla on social media and through email. I even tweeted the CEO, Elon Musk. So no one has responded to my emails. No one has responded to my social media posts. So I'm actually down here at Tesla right now. I just went inside. They told me the manager wasn't here. I just wanted to speak to someone about this issue. So now I'm waiting on a call back. And I'm still waiting on that phone call. I did contact uh, Tesla's corporate office Monday. It's been more than 24 hours and I haven't received a response. I went down to the local Tesla center. I recorded that just a few hours ago and I want to continue to work to get a solution. I actually spoke to Samantha uh, before the six, six o'clock newscast. She's still paying for that car, even though she doesn't have it. So we're trying to work to get her a solution. Remember, if you have a problem you just can't solve, you can always email me at askanthony at firstcoastnews.com.